Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm on my deck again. It was kind of a, it's kind of rainy today, and uh, when I wanted to get out, it just wasn't going to be that comfortable. But uh, so I decided to um, uh, paint on my deck again today. I wanted to share something with you. Um, my friend Nigel, who lives in Essex, um, over in England. Um, he's so fortunate. I mean, he gets to like go to all these places where uh, Constable painted, and um, and he's not far from where Turner, where Turner painted as well. And I've made a couple plans to actually get over there and paint with Nigel, and was planning to do it again this spring. And of course, you all know what happened, and so wasn't able to do it, but it's still on my list. I really want to um, get over there, Nigel, and paint with you. I can't wait um, to do that. Um, Nigel was so nice to send me some videos, just little video clips he took with his phone of the area, kind of around um, uh, um, Willie Lott's, um, yeah, Willie Lott's cottage. And it's um, super, um, super cool. So what I did is, is, as I was watching the video, when I saw a frame that like really interested me, I just took a screenshot with my phone so that I could um, uh, take a picture because I want to paint one of the scenes from one of Nigel's videos. So I'll show you here um, what, that, what that looks like so you can see what I'm, uh, what I'm actually painting from. Again, I'm going to not look at my computer I prefer to look at my phone because I can't see as much detail which is actually to my benefit so um, anyway that's enough rambling you want to see me paint so I'm going to get started here I'll get a sketch going and um, my palette is um, still the same uh, Hansa yellow uh, yellow ochre alizarin crimson burnt sienna a little bit of uh, fallow blue green shade and which it doesn't take much of that ever. So I I was complaining that I only could only get the small tubes, but I, had, I got two of them and it's probably a lifetime supply. So uh, anyway, not a lifetime, but you know what I mean. And then of course, uh, ultramarine blue, so, and titanium white. I, um, sorry about that. I'll get going here. All right, so I got a sketch going. So now it's uh, now we're just gonna jump in here and uh, get myself situated. I'm gonna start with um, some of these really nice dark uh, dark shapes that are right in where this tree is, and. Uh, Kind of the side. I think I'm going to go in here with like a number 10, a number 10 brush. Just a nice big, big brush. And I've kind of got this dark green, gray color in here. And it's just this whole, whole bank right here is just so dark. Um, and the trees just kind of blend right into it. So there's this kind of bush right in here, um, and then this other really dark shape right here. And I'm just using some uh, ultramarine blue and some um, burnt sienna, which gives a really nice, uh, really nice dark here. And then over on the outside of this tree, there's another really dark shape. It's got a little more green to it, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and just lay that in here, just to uh, lose track of it. And I have to cut back into it because I want to be able to see through here. I'm sort of eliminating a little bit of one of the trees that's on the right side. I'm going to try and hang on to it because I, w I don't want to just lose the edge. Um, so, and then uh, if I add a little more yellow to that, This uh, shape actually comes down, just comes down into the water here as well. 
same over here. And then the whole tree basically shapes up in here. some greener shapes. They're kind of in around the house area here. In the water. And then there's this nice dark shape over here that has a little more blue in it. that established. Let's just jump into uh, some of these blues here. It's kind of a grayish green up in here. My goal here is just to lay in this and then come back and uh, come back and pick up uh, cut into it with some uh, darks and some lights so, so we'll catch that in a second we'll just keep going I've got this darkish blue color over here just holding up this edge just a little bit And then we'll, we'll end up moving that one over. Got some really muted, kind of muted blues and stuff back in here. Uh, I'm just going to pick those up real quick. that's kind of over top of the house and I'm just going to make a shape and then I'm going to cut into it with some sky got the same except there's a touch of yellow in this one back here. This tree that's back in this area.
so yesterday I completely lost my light and uh, just got too too late um, too late in the day so so I'm picking back up where I left off I've got good light now for a couple hours probably three hours but I won't need that much time I don't think um, I was just noticing after yesterday things got a little muddy right in here and here so I've got some adjustments to make in the sky um, and I probably need to get that in like right away before I get too far um, probably a good time to do that with nice clean uh, everything clean get some clean color in there and I was working with Hansi yellow um, Hansi yellow a lot of white in that and adding just a little bit of sky color so I'm going to come back in with that and see what I can do um, now that I'm seeing it in the light differently today it's uh, definitely had some a few challenged areas that I can see but that's, that's great in general I like the composition I like uh, uh, I like some of the things that I did I'm gonna return to the big brush when I get to this foreground um, just so it's not like I don't want a lot of detail here um, but I do want this foreground obviously this is the middle ground right in here so yeah so let's get going on this
I've got my got shapes everywhere um, where I need them and um, I've got paint on the whole thing so now it's just time to to go in and start uh, start narrowing down some things and just tightening a few things up maybe the word tighten is not a good idea but um, but you know what I mean all right so I just want to get this one this one tree here I mean, first I'm going to clean up my palette a little bit here two sessions but uh, we got it in anyway and um, uh, this was actually this was actually really fun um, to do something to do something like this it's very uh, very different but not like totally different than what I normally do there's a bunch of different layers in here I keep looking at it so anyway my rendition of Willie Stott's uh, cottage and based on a video that was sent to me by Nigel. And it uh, has some really interesting um, things about it. Very, uh, just really beautiful uh, scenery, obviously. And there's a lot of variety of trees and things in there. And obviously Nigel took this in the fall. So got some really nice, these kind of nice yellows here, a little bit of yellow in the trees back here. and. Um, some various evergreens uh, around and some more deciduous trees um, here. I tried to not, I didn't want to get a lot of detail in the in the cottage. I just wanted it represented. Um, and I think, I think it actually came out pretty good. So this uh, piece in the foreground, this consumes a lot of uh, uh, a lot of the painting, but I think it works really well because it it just brings you down in here and this kind of just leads you back in here, um, which is uh, what I was hoping for. So anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will uh, I'll catch you guys later.